Amitriptyline. Hey guys, it's Kevin here, the migraine guy, starting a video series on uh, medications that uh, I have been on for migraines, uh, kind of cataloging why I was given them, uh, what my experience was with them, uh, what are some of the known side effects, and whether or not the ones that the doctor warned me about affected me, or whether maybe some of the more rare ones did affect me that I was kind of caught off guard about because the doctor didn't seem to think that it was going to be a likelihood. Um, but we'll get to all that in due time. So today's video is on amitriptyline. Uh, amitriptyline is a tricyclic antidepressant. Tricyclic antidepressants work by artificially boosting your serotonin levels and your noradrenaline levels in your brain. Uh, why would they do that? Well, they're antidepressants. Uh, that's what a lot of antidepressants do. Uh, boost the uh, the good neurotransmitters in your brain, uh, the happy feeling ones, the ones that keep you positive, or at least content. Um, and that's what amitriptyline does. Uh, however, it also has this weird effect where it works uh, pretty well for migraine sufferers who get them chronically. So if we're getting more than one a week, uh, more, more than one migraine a week, uh, your doctor might prescribe it. Uh, as a preventative medication. What does that mean? Well, preventative migraine medication is going to be one not that you would take if your migraine is really starting to get intense and you need pain relief. Uh, that's a different family of medications, uh, which we'll get to in a video. Uh, you take amitriptyline uh, to prevent migraines over time. Uh, so it's the kind of thing that uh, when you get more than one migraine a week, uh, if you take amitriptyline for two to three weeks, you should see a decrease in frequency. Now, that doesn't mean that when you do get a migraine, it's going to be less intense. It just means that you shouldn't get the intense ones as frequently. Uh, so in that sense, you know, that, that does sound to some degree like success, right? If you're getting three or four debilitating migraines a week, getting one or two has, you know, freed up a few of your days. You can do more stuff. You can be more active. You can enjoy life now. Uh, so that's good. Uh, are there any uh, side effects that I noticed when I was taking amitriptyline? Well, it didn't do a whole lot, right? Uh, it didn't seem to work. Uh, and I did get a little weight gain, which was annoying, but that's normal for antidepressants. Uh, and once I came off of it, weight came right off also. Um, but the thing that I did notice was the drowsiness. Uh, the drowsiness for me was intense. Uh, Amitriptyline makes you really, really tired. In fact, my doctor said he also prescribes it for uh, people who have trouble sleeping um, because the antidepressant effects apparently take quite a bit more uh, ingestion. You need to take hundreds of milligrams to really, really see long-term antidepressive uh, effects, whereas 25 or 50 milligrams of amitriptyline uh, will put you to sleep nicely, uh, but not really alter your brain chemistry a ton. Uh, so if you're, you know, have trouble sleeping and you're afraid of Lunesta because people who take it long term now are sleepwalking and doing all sorts of crazy stuff, you know, amitriptyline apparently is a nice, uh, nice way to go. Um, but the drowsiness for me was long lasting, right? It wasn't just like, oh, you know, get eight hours of sleep, wake up, be kind of groggy for an hour, get some coffee, go about my day. It was all day kind of grogginess, uh, even at, you know, 25 milligrams, 50 milligrams. Uh, but, you know, if I was tired all day, but had less migraine frequency, that, that would have been fine with me. Problem was, didn't decrease my migraine frequency that much. I was getting about five a week uh, when I was starting this uh, in like the four to six range uh, pain scale, right? One to 10, 10 being the worst. Um, hitting like the four to six range pretty frequently throughout the week. Uh, let's say four to five times. Uh, amitriptyline took it down to about three to four. So, you know, there was... Some, there was some success, right? It wasn't like it just was a placebo pill uh, and didn't do shit. It did some stuff, uh, just not enough. Uh, which brings me to the final point about amitriptyline is they should have an exit strategy when you're coming off of it. You don't want to be taking a pill for three months that's messing with brain chemistry, even on a small scale, and then stop taking it. Because your body gets you know used to, it adapts to the new levels that you've given it. So you need to wean yourself off of it. Um, yeah, so that's amitriptyline, uh, kind of a one-two punch video. I'm missing a lot of details. That's why there are articles linked. Uh, be sure to like the video if you like the video. Subscribe if you haven't. Put a comment down there. Let me know you're watching. 